Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the Master of the Universe Reaction Skeletor and Panthor set. Um, Super 7 figures here. Here they are in the packaging. As you can see, it is retro style packaging. Very reminiscent to the way the Panthor was packaged back in the day. It's a window style box. You can see the accessories right through the bubble there. Um... It says Evil Skeletor commands the Savage Cat into battle. There at the top it says Reaction Figures, um, 14, ages 14 and up. On the side here just says Master of the Universe, Skeletor and Panther, Super 7. On the back, there you have pictures of He-Man and Battle Cat and Skeletor and Panther. Um, as well as all the other figures that are currently available. On this side, you just have continuation of the artwork from the front of the card. And underneath, you got all your legal stuff. If you feel like reading that, feel free to pause the video and do so. All right, let's get them out see how cool he is as i said in the he-man video uh i'm not i i am a modern collector but these do kind of tug at the heartstrings for me he's a very uh retro styled version of he-man and skeletor um or this in this video skeletor and panthor obviously um and after inspecting he-man I mean, these figures would have, would fit right in with your classic Star Wars. I mean, they uh, they did a great job doing the retro style on these things. All right, come on out. There you go. Okay. Now I have heard a couple horror stories regarding the. Uh, the flocking on Panthor, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful than usual with this figure. So please bear with me. Um, right off the bat, the uh, horror stories that I'm, I've heard involve Skeletor's feet and the flocking when you actually put the figure into the uh, into the saddle. So. But, I mean, if, it, if it's going to be that, I can't even cut this thing off. Come on. Cut. There you go. If it's going to be that delicate when you just put the figure in and out. It kind of makes me a little bit nervous about the bottom of his feet and all that stuff, too. So, I thought I'd cut that. Give me a second, gang. Okay? Any problems here? I think that did it. Yep, there we go. All right, he's free. Sit him right there. We're gonna have a look at a uh, Skeletor first. Here he is. Very cool looking figure for a five point articulation figure. He, he definitely looks the part. He looks like a a retro version, like a like a retro three and three quarter inch version of the character, which is very cool. And if you're anything like me, where your toys as a kid always used to intermingle, um, my He-Man figures always just looked way too massive compared to my. My Star Wars and G.I. Joe. So I would have loved this figure when I was a kid, especially. The paint apps on this is ver are very nice. I don't see any sloppy paint apps at all. Um, joints are nice and stiff. Um, he is a five-point articulation figure, so his head should do a 360, but this is giving me a little bit of trouble here, and I don't want to force it. Looks, You can definitely do side to side, though. Um, his arms... Do a full 360, no problem. And his legs go up. 
They don't really go back because of the sculpt on his rear end there, but it's all right. Here is his staff, which is very faithfully done. I like this a lot. And he can hold his staff. very well i mean that is a narrow piece of plastic though so you are going to want to be a little bit careful um you don't want to get any stress marks on there obviously so but yeah he holds that very well all right let's have a look at panthor now and in case you didn't know panthor is articulated so he does have articulation in his arm on all four legs let me get his saddle off so we can actually have a good look at that. He's got a couple splotch marks on his uh, flocking. All right. yeah, his legs are kind of stiff. But you can move them. They do go up and back. I assume it's because of the flocking that they're stiff. Battle Cat wasn't like this. Yeah, yeah there is. Must be because of the flocking. Not too bad. His tail also swivels. There is no articulation at the face or the mouth. And he's got the trap door here. Um, the trap door does have flocking on it. And this is um, what people were saying. Apparently, when you use Skeletor's feet, if you're not careful, it will take the flocking off. Okay, let's get him standing. Not too bad. Let's get his saddle back on. All right, not too bad. And let's get Skeletor in there. Oh yeah, I definitely see what they're saying, yeah. It's very hard, because of the shape of Skeletor's feet, to get him all the way in there. Without forcing it, and I don't wanna Ruin the trap door. Right, come on out. Yeah, see, look, it scraped it up a little bit right there. Can't really be helped if you if you try to put the figure in. That's it's that's what's going to happen. And he kind of sits kind of high in there too. That's a shame. Ah, oh yeah, look. Every time I put him in, it scrapes it up a little bit. And I'm not even putting a lot of effort in either that's, that's a shame and with the saddle on I can't use my finger to push it down and yank put him in because the uh, well my fingers are too big all right I'm curious now though let's see if I can get him to sit in there all the way without the saddle Nope. Now you're just gonna sit kind of high up in there. But yeah, if you look, scratch marks right there on the flocking at the top of the trap door. That's a shame. You can get them in there, but uh, they're gonna wear down the that one section of the figure every time you do it, which is. That's the trade-off. That's a bummer. All right. Let's get these guys both in frame here. We'll do size comparisons now. Um, here he is next to the uh, vintage collection Luke Skywalker. 
who does not want to stand up for me anymore. There we go. Here they are next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure. Here's a Marvel Universe Captain America. And here's a Boss Fight Studio Night Blank. See how they measure up there. And I did it in He Man review. I'm going to do it here as well. I'm going to put the uh, Boss Fight figure on top. So you can see how that looks. If you wanted to use this for those figures, which quite frankly, I'm probably going to do because I've already started making my, uh, my boss fight studio version of Skeletor. And that doesn't look too bad. So, all in all, I think it's a good set. I mean, it does have its drawbacks, unfortunately. Um, just the shape of uh, Skeletor's feet, especially these, like, little spike uh, spikes on the backs, I guess. They, uh, they keep scraping the top, that trap door on the, uh, the Panthor figure every time you try to put him in there. Um, they did a great job with his flocking, however. I mean, he looks great. I love the yellow eyes and everything. Um, it looks really good. Um, this is a really good looking set. <coughs> and even though the figure is only five, uh, five points of articulation, he looks really good too, frankly. Um, I'm, still, I'm still happy with this set. I am a little bummed that you know, Skeletor doesn't fit in there as well as He-Man does on Battle Cat. Because, as you can see, I still have ba uh, Battle Cat off to the side here. I mean, He-Man sits in there pretty well. Um, Skeletor was sitting a little high up. Again, because of the shape of his feet, you couldn't get him in there all the way. Um, but I, I do think that they complement each other very well. And uh, I'm happy I got it. Uh, the set is still currently available on Big Bad Toy Store as far as uh, when I'm filming this video. So if you're interested, head on over there. I think it was $25 for the set, which is not that bad. Um, they really did a good job with the Battle Cat. and uh, I'm sorry, with Panthor. And uh, if you are making a custom of Skeletor to go along with it, um, you get his staff too, so... Anyhow, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.